Hi everyone, um, so I'm going to be talking you through what is in my bag. Uh, I know it's quite a popular video for most people, I thought I'd give it a go. I'm not going to go through it and sort of chuck out all the disgusting old socks that could be in the bottom of it. Um, so I've literally picked it up off the floor, it needs a serious sort out. So this is my bag, it's um, just a basic black tote sort of style bag. Um, it's from Juicy Couture and I got it in Vista Village, which is the best place in the world if you like designer brands but you can't really afford to pay designer prices. So first of all um, I've got my purse. Um, so this is a Vivian Westwood um, real leather sort of grainy grey leather purse or wallet should I say. Um, it's <laughs> filled to the brim of receipts. No money, they're just receipts. And, uh, and coffee cards. So that's my purse. Love it. I've had it for a couple of years now. There's not a scuff in sight, really good quality, really recommend going to Bista Village and checking out their um, things there. Uh, next up is my 2016 diary, um, I love this one because it's got a really cute quote on the front. Um, I've also got a miniature pack of tissues which were from Primark, PS Love um, range, there's only a couple left in there, always come in handy, have a pack of tissues with you. Um, next up, we've got um, my sunglasses, so I got, only got these recently, um, they're from H&M. Um, the sunglasses case is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Um, love that. And then that was 5 99 And I also got these sunglasses, um, also from H&M. I don't know if they really suit me, but <laughs> I always struggle because my head is so big um, to get some sunglasses to fit. So those ones were fine, so they were quite cheap as well. I think the sunglasses were 6 99 um, so I then have a box of chewing gum. I always like to keep some chewing gum with me. Um, only a few left in there, but always handy. Um, we then have um, a really dirty lint roller. Um, you never know when you might need a lint roller, so I always keep one in my bag. Um, and these little ones are from H&M as well. You get them, they're 99p and you get the one with the handle and then like a refill as well. I then have an umbrella, living in England, constantly raining, so it's always worth having an umbrella with you. And um, this one was just from Primark, and I think it was really cheap, it was like just a couple of pounds. Next up, we have, there's so much rubbish in the bottom of this bag, it's really embarrassing. Um, next up, I've got a hand cream. Um, this is actually from Aldi, um, and it's an anti-aging hand cream with organic argan oil. Um, surprisingly really good, sinks in really quickly, it's got a really nice smell. Um, I don't know why I'm having to smell it, but... Smells really fresh, but not of like chocolate, because obviously it's got cocoa in it, you'd think it'd smell of... It hasn't got cocoa in it at all, what am I on about? I always thought it had cocoa in it. Argan oil, don't really know what argan oil smells like, but I really like that. Um, I then got a set of keys. I then got a Soap and Glory Solar Powder Bronzer. Um, this is quite well loved. I like to keep this in my bag just to top up my bronzer on the go. I've got another bronzer. This is a Kiko um, Highlight and Bronzer Duo. I don't know why I've got so much makeup in my bag. I never normally keep this much makeup in here. I must have been doing something. Um, but that's, oh god, look how gross that is. Um, so bronzer and highlighter. I really like this. Don't really use the highlighter version um, on this. I really like the bronzer. Um, we've also got a Zara... Um, Perfume rollable. These are really good. I think they're about two ninety nine or three pound, and they last for ages. And they've got a really good scent payoff. Really like using these. This one's quite floral. Um, it really reminds me of like a branded perfume. I can't think of what it reminds me of, um, but that's really good. So I like those ones. I think I might have another one of those in here. Uh, oh, I do. Here we go. Um, this one is Zara Woman Gold. So this one's nearly out, um, but this one is smells like the Paco Rabanne for women fragrance. Smells really nice, I really like that one. Some pens lurking in the bottom here. Um, highlighter, normal pen, normal biro, and then one of those little pink. This is actually from Poundland, you've got a pack of eight, I think, different colour ones, really good. And these are from, obviously, when I went to uni, just finished, um, so don't really need these anymore in here. Um, but it's always handy to have a pen in your bag. Next up, we've got <laughs> some random chocolates. I think I went to a restaurant recently, and you know when you get the bill, sometimes they put some chocolates in there. Um, a Carex Complete um, hand sanitizer. Always carry one of these around. I've then got the Ghost Girl Eau de Toilette. Tiny little um, sample size in there. 
And then this is actually my boyfriend's. <laughs> He's gonna cringe so much that I've got this in here. Um, he always wants a lip balm, but I never have a lip balm on me. I always seem to have a lipstick. He always makes sure he puts one of his lip balms in my bag. Um, I think this one's quite melted, but it's just Nivea basic lip balm. I've got hair tie. And then out of the main compartment, the rest is literally just full of rubbish and receipts. So that is literally gonna just go straight in the bin. So I'm gonna get rid of all that now. I'm gonna shove that on the floor for the time being. Is there anything else interesting lurking at the bottom? A couple of train tickets from trains I probably went on years ago. <laughs> Pack of sugar. Um, and just some random hair grips and stuff at the bottom of the bag. Um, so in the side, side pocket, I've also got a little Clinique um, pink chocolate eyeshadow palette and um, this came in a gift of purchase and um, it's quite cute it's got quite a few nice colours in there um, and then a little sponge applicator I haven't actually used it so I don't know why it's in my bag um, but it's in there I've also then got a Clinique lip so this is my favourite Clinique lipstick a uh, Clinique pop lip colour lipsticks in nude pop um, I also got this with a gift of purchase no this was from Glamour magazine actually um, I got this one you can see I've used it quite a lot Perfect nude colour, love it. Really easy to put on. Um, um, and then, literally, the rest, if I go through all my other pockets, what am I looking at? Um, more chewing gum. Got a lot of chewing gum in this bag. And then one of those little coins. Um, that actually should be on my keys. Um, coin to put in the trolley, to go food shopping. Um, and then, literally, that's it. Everything else is just rubbish. So I need to make sure I go through all my receipts. But that is everything. Um, I won't show you the bottom because there's like disgusting crumbs and stuff so I'm going to quickly hoover this out. Um, so I hope you like this video. Sorry I'm a bit scatty. Um, it's my first ever video that I've actually sat and talked um, to the camera. So I don't know, don't know how i done. Um, let me know in the comments below um, how you think my first video went, if I was a bit annoying like I probably was. Um, and give it a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe. Um, so I'd love any support I could get, that would be really fab. Um, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.